My name is John Zaktansky. I'm the Middle Susquehanna River Keeper coming to you today with another in our series of videos called Study the Susquehanna. These are kind of fun at home uh, experiments that you can do with your families uh, to learn more about our waterways and how we can protect them. Uh, the last time I, I did a session, it was called Water Cycle in a Bowl. And we used some glass bowls and some hot water and, uh, and basically some ingredients that are not as user-friendly for little children. So today is water cycle in a bag. It's a different experiment to kind of demonstrate how a water cycle works, but it's a, a little more younger child friendly. Uh, today, uh, all we'll need is a plastic Ziploc bag. You can use any size. I have a gallon size bag here, but you can use the quart size as well. Uh, you'll need some markers and some artwork time, which is always fun to be creative. Now, I am not an artist. I am not Bob Ross or anyone like that. Uh, but you don't really have to be for this. Um, basically, you want to draw on the elements of a water cycle directly onto your bag. So we'll start off with uh, some water below. Uh, that will be our river uh, flowing down below, which is nice. Above, we want some clouds. So these are our clouds. Uh, and the other part of cloud in a water cycle is it's, it's where everything condenses before it precipitates back down. So we want to put the word condensation on here as a good reminder of what is going on with the cloud part. Uh, and then I'm going to be very really simple with this. You can get really creative, and I've seen some really cool examples online. Um, but um, just a simple arrow up to kind of show stuff going in that direction. So water from the water vapor uh, from evaporation. So we're going to ma mark this as evaporation. And that is our water vapor. And then the water coming down from our clouds as they condense in the cooler atmosphere ultimately comes down as precipitation. So we'll put that on as well. Precipitation. And of course, that can be in the form of rain or snow or sleet. I'll just put rain on here for right now. The water cycle, also known as the hydrologic cycle, shows how the Earth's water is refreshed through a series of processes. Water vapor evaporates into the air where it condenses into clouds and eventually precipitates back to the Earth through rain or snow. And then the cycle continues. So we have our bag, our marked bag um, from before. Uh, and basically, the next step is to add some water uh, to get it kind of to where our water line is. It doesn't have to be all the way there. Uh, it's just a representation. So we take some water and we put it in our bag. We don't need, we don't need a whole lot, but enough to make this kind of fun. So I'm using two cups in with this gallon-sized bag. Uh, and then with that, we want to make sure we can see this water. We want to make sure it's something that we can absorb and and to kind of show off, so I'm going to add some blue food coloring, uh, several drops, to make it nice and colorful. Seal it off just for safety purposes. And there we have our water in a bag. And here we are with phase three of our water cycle in a bag experiment. We take the bag and we simply tape it up into a window that gets uh, a decent amount of sun. Unfortunately, today is a little bit cloudy, overcast, and rainy, so we're not going to get the full effects of that. Uh, but as you can see, uh, it is here in our window. Uh, the blue water at the bottom, the river, and everything uh, coordinating with that up through. Uh, the nice thing is then as the sun comes through uh, and starts to heat up the bag and heat up the water, we'll start seeing condensation on the inside of the bag. We'll see water starting to drip back down into the water, and it'll be an active small mini water cycle that you can do at home with your kids. I wanted to give you an example of a few other water cycles in a bag that people have done and shared online. Thank you for your time.